Welcome back to Madman Review. Today we're going to talk about 22 hunting pellets and give you my recommendations on which one would be best. Before we begin, I would like to start with a disclaimer that not all the pellets on the market are used. There are countless of them, and we'd be here all day if we have to go through every single manufacturer. Another thing I want to point out is that your mileage may vary. Your wounding capacity is affected by four main factors, the external environment, your marksmanship, the gun, and the pellet itself. While you have the best hunting pellet money can buy, that does not mean much if the gun is weak. The performance of these pellets is dependent on the gun that fired them, so if you use a weak gun, you will not deal a whole lot of damage to your target. Speaking of ballistic performance, accuracy does not say much about the pellet in terms of wounding capacity. One also needs to consider penetration and deformation, both of which are actually the things that do the damage. As per tradition, you can find the links for these pellets in the description below. With this out of the way, we'll be taking a look at 9 hunting pellets, which the manufacturers claim to have amazing performance. The JSB Diabolo Exact. I consider this to be the standard hunting pellet. The Diabolo Exact is perfect for you if you want a pellet that packs a punch, but still has a stable trajectory. It is accurate enough for hunting and target practice and your most value packed option would be to go for the 500 pellet pack. Another thing I would point out is that this pellet has a round nose design, meaning you can use it in almost all air guns. A few downsides for this pellet is that it contains lead, so you may need to clean your gun now and then. And it might not be the best option for target practice as it is just overkill. The JSB Hades. The Hades pellets are also from JSB, so you can expect to see similar accuracy and ballistic performance. For lower powered guns, these pellets are a solid option as they're relatively light. The mushroom pellet head has three deep indentations to encourage deformation upon impact, making it ideal for hunting. Accuracy wise, you should have a fairly tight shot group. Various tests from different people suggest that the trajectory is flat between 9 to 32 yards, though having a more powerful air gun would improve accuracy and flat trajectory at longer distances. The Predator Polymag Next up, we look at the Predator Polymag. The first thing you would notice in its appearance, and it is all intentional, it's a fairly accurate if used in more powerful air guns. They really hit hard with their unique shape, which allows for minimal drag resulting in more energy dumped into your target. These pellets are also hollow points, which encourage deformation and further damage. The downside is that these pellets prices. If you want to do some target practice, you're better off looking for cheaper pellets to train with. The Air Arms Diabolo Hunter. The Diabolo Hunter pellets come with similar specs as the Diabolo Field. The thing that differentiates the two is that the Hunter variant has a slightly pointed head, whereas the Field variant has a domed one. The domed head is intended to minimize drag and maintain accuracy not to mention to achieve better penetration. Expect decent shot groupings. Again, the price comes into play once more. These pellets are best for hunting, not for target practice. The H&N Sniper Magnum. As the name suggests, a Sniper Magnum from H&N is best used for long range shooting. It features a simple domed head, like a mushroom, unlike the fancy Predator Polymag, but it gets the job done nonetheless. In terms of trajectory, it is relatively flat between nine to 33 yards. Again, your mileage may vary here, Using a more powerful air gun would certainly flatten the flight path a lot more than weaker ones. The pellet is very long and heavy, so you should be using this for long range shooting. Another thing that reinforces its use is its penetration capability. If you were to shoot this at a bird or animal, especially at close range, you would be punching a hole right through them. You're probably better off using this against a larger game. The H&N Barracuda Hunter. The Barracuda Hunter from H&A is an excellent choice as a hunting pellet. Shape-wise, it looks a lot like the Sniper Magnum, with the most notable difference in the head area. It is still somewhat mushroom-shaped, but with a large indentation in the middle. This results in a rather weaker penetration, but the damage is admirable thanks to the mushrooming effect. The pellet deforms greatly, allowing it to do a lot of damage. In terms of flight path, the trajectory is more or less flat between 9 to 32 yards or so. With a higher-powered gun, you can squeeze more out of this pellet. The H&N Barracuda Hunter Extreme some people have reported that their initial shooting experience with the Barracuda Extreme was largely negative. The accuracy was awful and it took a fair bit to settle in, though they did not say much about the kind of air gun they used for their experiment, so your mileage may vary here. Others say that the Hunter Extreme does a good job in terms of accuracy. The thing with hollow point pellets is that they're more easily deformed thanks to the indentation in the pellet head. However, this also affects their aerodynamic performance as the indentation can cause the pellet to sway a bit. 
It does not throw off your aim by a lot, but it is pretty rare for pellets to achieve tight shots grouping over 20 yards or so. The Barracuda Hunter Extreme does a better job in retaining more energy than the standard JSB. But the difference is negligible. In terms of accuracy, a lot of people say that it performs very well compared to other non-dome pellets on the market. The pellet also expands nicely once it hits the target thanks to its Phillips head design. The JSB Stratton Jumbo. The JSB Stratton Jumbo features a similar mushroom head but pointed instead of for better penetration. Though to say that this is pointed is perhaps pushing it as it is not the same degree as the predatory polymag. That does not mean that it can dump more energy upon impact thanks to its wider surface area and its dull head can help prevent it from over penetrating your target. The JSB Ultra Shock. The JBS Ultra Shock is a bit of a mixed bag. The accuracy may not work out for you if you use a low power gun. At higher power though, the unique edge shape of the pellet head can make a difference. Still ignoring its unorthodox shape, it manages to achieve some impressive results. The head shape allows it to cut a clean hole in the cardboard target. If you use that on small game like rabbits or pigeons, their flat head allows them to dump a lot of energy upon impact, causing shock damage, fitting for its name. These pellets are not designed with higher penetration in mind, and so the pellet may tumble and deform inside the target, causing more damage. And there you have it. These are some of the top selections for 22 hunting pellets. I understand that there are many decent options out there, but I want to narrow it down to the pellets that claim to be the hunting pellets with destructive capabilities. If you have any other pellet suggestions, let us know down in the comment section below. The key takeaway is this. If you are shooting at anything with less than 12 foot pounds, as always, concentrate primarily on accuracy. Given the weak power behind the pellet, even before you can consider the deformation of shock damage, you need to hit your target first, which can be tricky. However, once you start to get higher at around 40 foot pound energy, things get interesting. Most of the pellets you can find on the market will dump a lot of energy upon entry, causing shock damage and possibly some tearing at the start. They are also likely to deform, which can cause further damage. With this much power, you can focus more on deformation, with different shaped pellets can tumble, deform, and cause more internal damage. As always, thank you for watching. Consider giving us a like if you find this video informative and entertaining. And if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel for more fun content like this. I'll see you again in the next episode.